Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a small little refresh of a space that I've already done before. I'm getting ready to start a big renovation project, so I wanted to give this room a little update and show you guys how you can make over rooms with a very small budget with just a few small changes. Okay, this is my half bath. If you followed my channel for a while, you were here for the makeover of this room. It got new floors and new paint accent wall and this new vanity and mirror and light, pretty much new everything. But I wanna give it a few small changes that will really update it that I didn't get a chance to do the first time around. One of the first things that I wanna address is this window. I always keep these blinds closed because it just seems kind of strange because the toilet's right there and if people are swimming, you don't want the blinds up, but I still want some light in this room. So I wanna take these blinds down and I wanna actually paint the window black like I did in the living room and the dining room. And then I wanna frost the window so that we still get the natural light, but we still get the privacy that we want in a bathroom. So this whole situation here took like 30 minutes and it's going to take less than five minutes to paint the window. The setup for it is so much longer, but I don't want to have to touch up these walls or scrub anything off the floor. So that's what we have to do. I've done this project a couple of times before, like I mentioned earlier, so I knew that I needed to go in with light coats because it would take two or three coats because I still want the window to be able to open, be able to lock and unlock. And so using those light coats will not make it too thick where it won't get gunked up, where it won't be able to move. So I did that, three light coats, and waited for that to dry completely. And then I was able to remove all of the tape without having to worry about messing it up when I took the paper off. Okay, the window looks so good. I'm gonna let that dry for a little while before I frost it, 
but I love how it ties in with like the black handles and the hinges that I added since the last video. But now I want to move on to this vanity. When I painted it green, I really wanted to add some gold brassy accents, but it wasn't in the budget at the time. So I grabbed this faucet off of Amazon and these are some of the leftover knobs that I had from the kitchen makeover and the laundry room makeover too. So we're just gonna add, that looks so good against that green. So we're gonna add some new faucets, change out this, add some new handles, knobs, and change out the faucet, just one, and then address that light fixture too. first thing I'm doing is taking off this toilet paper holder. It's still in perfectly good shape. I just wanted it to be gold to match everything else. So I took that off and I'm taking it outside to spray it with my favorite gold spray paint. And after that is completely dry, I'll reinstall it. But in the meantime, I'm going to switch out these knobs for some more gold brassy ones that I used in the kitchen that I love and I had them left over. So free. So this is just the faucet that came with the vanity, which worked fine for us for a year, but I wanted to switch it out for something a little bit more stylish, in my opinion. I liked this gold faucet that I got off of Amazon, and I like that it's higher, but it also comes with this pop-up drain stopper, which I think is like the coolest thing ever. I couldn't stop pushing it, but that's probably my favorite part about it other than the way that it looks. And while I was at it, I went ahead and touched up the vanity in a few spots because kids. Okay, the window is pretty dry, so now I'm going to put this film on it. I ordered this off of Amazon, and it's just going to make this frosted while still giving us some light, because I could use a spray paint to frost it, but I don't want this to be permanent in case I change my mind later. But, so what we need to do is we're going to spray the window with water, and then also spray this with water, and then kind of, I'm going to take a card and get all the water out behind it and then trim it with an X-Acto knife. This was my first time to do any kind of project like this and I found some useful tips. So make sure to use tons of water. This was pretty user friendly just because the paper that I'm using is not sticky on the back. It's kind of like clings to the window. If you've ever tried to use like vinyl or something, it'll stick to anything and it's kind of frustrating. But also you want to make sure that you have 
a really sharp exacto knife i actually went and got a brand new one for this because it makes those cuts a lot more clean After the windows were all frosted, I'm using black electrical tape to mimic the look of grids, just like I did in the living room. I also used white on my solar screens on the exterior of my home, which by the way, are holding up great for those of you who were wondering, but I just wanted to add some grids to make it look a little bit more custom, I guess. I think it's a fun detail. So for the light fixture, I didn't feel like taking it down or taping everything off to spray paint it. So I'm just using Rub and Buff, which I've talked about before on my channel, which is kind of like a waxy paint. I don't really know what it is, but it really clings to stuff super well. And I think it's really good for things that aren't going to get touched a lot. Like this light fixture is not ever going to get touched. I used it on a doorknob and it didn't hold up great, but for things like this, it's absolutely perfect. And then I decided I wanted to make a little wood project because of course we can't have a video without using power tools and cutting wood, right? So I am just taking this wood right here that's a scrap piece and I'm using this top from the kitchen and I am just drawing on rounded corners and then taking the jigsaw and cutting those out so they will be completely symmetrical all the way around. And then I'm gonna go in with a sander and a 220 grit sanding pad that's just gonna make everything super smooth. The first stain that I'm using is called Fruitwood and I did not like it. It was too warm. I had it, so I figured I would try to use it, but didn't like it. So I went in with my favorite, which is Early American by Mindwax and it never lets me down. So I off camera after this dried, I did add a couple of coats of polyurethane just because this is gonna get water on it and I wanted the wood to be protected from water and soap and anything else like that. And then I just took these little legs and I am gluing those on and just gonna add a couple of brad nails into those to hold it while the glue dries. And it is completely done and we have ourselves a cute little soap stand for the soap in our candle. So after all of our little easy cosmetic updates, this is how the bathroom turned out. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe got some inspiration to take a space in your home that you're not loving and give it a little bit of an update. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed because next week we are starting a huge project that I've been wanting to do since day one of moving into this house and I'm so excited. So subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.